So uh, what we're looking at today is uh, the PC Mover Ultimate from Laplink and the whole idea is that you can transfer all your content from one computer uh, to another. So it's not just your documents but it's also all your software and your programs and that kind of thing. It transfers all the serial numbers so it's almost like you migrate uh, your entire computer from one to another. So if you're up upgrading like I am from old beat down Dell to a new desktop, um, you're able to transfer everything over without having to reinstall each individual program and move all your documents and your music and pictures and all that kind of thing. So it's, it's pretty handy. It uses a, a high-speed uh, crossover cable uh, and I believe you can also do it over Wi-Fi over USB and that. Uh, so I just put in the, uh, the DVD into my uh, Dell here. There's PC Mover, which is what we'll be using. So it transfers uh, your selected file settings applications from one PC to another. There's also a PC Sync, which works um, similar to Dropbox and services like that, allowing you to synchronize files and folders uh, across computers. So that comes in handy if you have a home computer and a computer at work and you want to keep the files in sync with another. And the other option is Laplink Safe Erase. So uh, if you're sending in something for warranty or something like that and you don't want them to know what you're doing, uh, you can install the uh, Safe Erase and it will securely erase all the set sensor data on the computer. I've started the process of installing the software on the two computers and now I finally got to the screen where it's asking for a serial number and the main difference is there's a full version and a trial version. The trial version only allows you to transfer files of a single type, so all Word docs or all JPEG images or whatever, And but you need the serial number if you plan on moving everything, more than one file type, so uh, your different applications and settings and that kind of thing, so that's what we'll be doing. You have a few different methods for how you want to connect your old computer to your new computer. Uh, what we'll be using is the included Laplink Ethernet cable because it's probably the fastest way to do it. But you can also transfer over a network, uh, both wired and wireless, with a USB crossover cable or with a file storage device. So you can load everything on an external hard drive, uh, a blank DVD, or what, what have you, flash drive even if you want. But yeah, if you can and you have physical access to the two computers and they can be close enough to each other, their cable is probably the best way to go. Okay, so uh, the first small snag that we ran into while installing the program was it seemed to have a hard time detecting the destination computer over the Ethernet cable. Strangely enough, because I had the wireless network opened on the new, new computer and the old computer wasn't able to find the new computer through the wired network until I turned off the wireless on the new computer. After doing so, it shows up on the wired network and then we're ready to move on to the next level. So we've encountered a screen where it's asking which user accounts you want to transfer from one computer to the other and the assumption that we had going in was that when you transfer the the old profile would become a brand new profile on the new computer but actually what happens is it maps an old one to a new one so uh, you don't actually create a new user on the new computer it just transfers everything that's from the old user to the new user without actually making a separate entry altogether so that's pretty handy actually now we reach the screen where you get to uh, cherry pick which applications you want to transfer from the old computer to the new computer so in my case uh, I, I, I don't want to have the big fish games there anymore I know that uh, BitComet is already on the new computer and it has detected it as such. Uh, a different version exists on the new computer so it already knows that there's something there so it doesn't want to duplicate. So yeah, you can just take your time and cherry pick through the applications that you have to see what you want to transfer. So that's what I'm going to do now. So after I've selected uh, and deselected the applications that I plan on transferring from the old computer to the new computer, it's asking me which uh, files and folders that I want to transfer across to. And by default, it wants to transfer everything. Um, which is more often than not probably not what you want. So you, know, you can go and cherry pick through the different documents and folders that you don't want to transfer to the new computer. So if you have you know, old tax documents from 10 years ago that aren't really relevant anymore, you can deselect that folder. It's compiled all the stuff that needs to be transferred from the old computer to the new computer. And what I found is that the software itself is actually pretty fast in compiling the libraries and determining which applications would be duplicated and all that kind of stuff. The part of the process that actually takes the longest is the human factor. It's you determining which programs you want to transfer over, which documents you want to transfer over, and that kind of thing. And uh, For some people, they're happy with just the default settings, which would move literally everything from your old computer to the new one. But I was more interested in you know, getting a little bit of a cleaner start on the new, new computer, so I was cherry-picking what I didn't want to have moved over, and that's what took the mo most amount of time. But the software itself is actually 
uh, really fast in compiling what it needs to do. Time to hit the magic button, and it's telling me that it's ready to transfer the moving van. Not from U-Haul, but whatever. Okay, so the, uh, the PC mover process is complete. Uh, on the destination computer, it, it uh, asks for a restart. So that's what I've got it to start doing. And on the source computer, uh, you have the ability to look up a uh, number of reports that are available uh, to see which applications were transferred, uh, registry items, uh, summary. So, for example, if you want to look at the applications, it gives a list of the different applications and whether or not they were transferred over to the new computer and so on. So, so that's done. So it says filing, uh, filling the moving van is complete and everything is done. So I'll be giving a test with some of the uh, applications and documents that were transferred over. But as far as I can tell, everything looks uh, quite good.